In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to add some components to your very own component library. Let's get started. So all, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be using a duplicate of another part that I already have in my library. I've already used the scheme uh, as I mentioned in the post on circuitdojo.org forward slash fundamentals. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. I'm going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to select the last resistor. I'm going to make that duplicate up wherever, up the number here. And then I'm going to go ahead and open it so I can start editing. Next, I'm going to throw open Chrome. I'm going to go to DigiKey and I'm going to actually search for 0603 resistors with uh, 215K. I think is probably appropriate. My go to search parameters for DigiKey. In, include using the active cut tape and in stock mostly for the low volume stuff it's easier to find things it's, it cuts out all, all the duplicates very useful also going to set the one percent here and I'm going to navigate to the 215 kilo ohms should be good enough for our purposes perfect I'm just gonna use the first one that comes up, add that in, change the attributes for the manufacturer part number. Right now, the value is set to constant because I've already set it in that case, but when we go ahead and add a different variant, that's gonna change. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that uh, DigiKey part number as well. I'm gonna update the description here. Cool, cool thing about the description box in Eagle is that you can also add HTML, so I've often copied the table on DigiKey and put it right into my description box. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and check, get the next part down and add that as an alternate. So I have the pan alternate for Panasonic. I'm gonna add that part number. And as you can see, everything is set to variable. We want it to be set to constant so it can't be changed inside the schematic. Then if you go to change and we got to, we can set it to constant, but we can also can set the technologies to all and I can copy over all the values. This is useful for alternates or equivalents because everything is the same. Lastly, I'm gonna go grab that part number, the DigiKey part number, pop that in and make sure that's also constant. That's it for this short video. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. More videos coming like this soon. You can hop on our mailing list at circuitdojo.org. The Circuit Dojo insiders get uh, emails every two weeks on the newest post. Excited to share this stuff with you guys and uh, see you next time.